Well, welcome back to the channel everyone. And today I'm in Mallendale. So as you can see, fantastic views behind me. It's currently, time is it? 20 past seven in the evening. So I've come up here this evening um, to get an early start um, to come and photograph the peregrine falcons. Um, they're not nesting where they were last year, so there's a new nest. So I'm not entirely sure whether that is. I've gotten a good idea where it is. Um, so I'm just gonna get up early and situate myself on the cliffside first thing in the morning and wait for them to get up and start hunting. Um, in the meantime, I'm out looking for any wildlife really, foxes, hares, whatever may come around. I've just had a fantastic moment of a kestrel um, having a fight with some crows or ravens absolutely fantastic um, the shot i've got is the, the kestrel and the raven claws with each other absolutely brilliant um, they were quite far away but it's a i'm gonna have to crop right in uh, and zoom on the image but i've had a look on the camera and it's brilliant i'm going to stick that up now um, what a moment that was just watching that that was absolutely brilliant anyway um, my tent is that little red dot down there i don't know if you can see it probably not um, so I was going to start the video at 4am in the morning at the tent but there are other people in the campsite so I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, I'm sure they won't be uh, too impressed with me getting up at 4am and starting talking to the camera. Um, so I'm going to skip that bit. Um, so I'm going to get up, park the car and make my way up here in the morning. So I'm going to hang around here, see what else flies around this evening. Gorgeous evening and I will see you at 4am. So, I'm at Riverside Campsite here in Mullum. Lovely little campsite. It's got some great facilities here as well. I'll just take you for a quick tour. I know it's not wildlife photography, but it's all part and parcel, isn't it? Where you stay and stuff like that. So, they've got washing up facilities in here, which is all very nice. And a little seating area here. If you want to read a book, check out the, um, the guides, the Yorkshire Dales. And then we've got the toilets and showers. So I have to say, guys, that gents, I'm not going in the ladies, let me just back this up. The toilets are absolutely very, very nice. I haven't seen the showers actually. Let's go have a look at the showers. Showers, no food or drink in the showers. Showers, tokens, one pound each. Please get them when you pay for camping. Well, you got a waiting area and you got the showers, which you can't see. I didn't know I needed a token, so I won't be having a shower in the morning. Just a wash and a shave. Anyway, yeah, so that's the campsite. And there's my little red tent. And what a lovely evening. morning everybody and welcome to Tuesday morning um, didn't have a bad night's sleep it was blooming cold frost on the tent this morning um, 
But yeah, it wasn't too bad. I've woken up by an owl about 3 a.m. this morning. Um, so that was nice. Don't mind getting woken up by an owl, do you? Um, I got up about half. half past four this morning. Um, so I'm now at the top of the cliffs and I'm coming, hopefully, now to photograph the peregrine falcons. Um, as of yet, I still haven't seen them. I am hoping they're here. Um, I've just bumped into another photographer. Well, I didn't bump into, he sort of saw me coming up and has been loitering around, going back and forth and, and is now walking off in the other direction. Very suspicious sort of person. And he saw it now, I just uh, sat behind the wall, think I can't see him. Don't know what he's up to. Anyway. I'm going to spend the morning up here, so it's what now, 20 to 6, so I'm going to probably stay here till about half 8, 9 o'clock, and then I'm going to make my way up through the, uh, through the gorge and up to Malum Tarn, into the woods, spend a bit of time up there before going into the grassland area. Um, so fingers crossed we get to see something this morning. So. I better be quiet, get my camera set up and lay low. I've just reached Malum Town. Um, spent a bit of time at the cliffs this morning and sort of came to the conclusion that the peregrines, peregrines aren't nesting this year. Um, I had a look, had a really good look around the cliffs, looking in all the um, ledges and, and little holes and the nesting. And there was no sign of activity whatsoever. There was, there's no feathers, no sort of like uh, kills, uh, sometimes they grab pigeons and you'll see the carcasses or, or at least the feathers. There's no droppings either. It's, there's just actually, literally no sign of them at all. So I'm not sure that they're nesting there this year. They might be, and I was just looking in the wrong place. I don't know, but not to worry. Um, had a nice walk this morning. So it's about a two mile walk here from the cliffs at Malum and I'm gonna make my way behind me through these woods and all the way around the other side of the tarn and eventually head back to Malum Cove where I was this morning. Um, but I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna enjoy the day. Unfortunately, there's no birds on the water. It's a little windy, a bit too choppy, I think, for them. So I would imagine that they're all sort of in the alcoves over there in the little bays um seeking shelter so we might get lucky and see some over there then anyway, i'm gonna have a break and something to eat i make my way through the woods very slowly and perhaps spend an hour or two in there
So welcome to Malamutan Hide. So there's a little hide here on the edge of the lake. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get to see much today. It's still a bit windy out there, but I'll give it 20 minutes and see what turns up. Okay, so I'm now in the marshes here at Mullendale and Mullum Tarn is just to my right over here. So I've just come to the marshes just to see what I can do. So I've put on my 100 EF macro lens. Um, I'm going to take some pictures of some flowers, any little insects that may be, um, and hopefully you might get a few birds in here as well. There's plenty of them singing around. Um, but yeah, I've just come across this northern moor marsh orchid here so i'm going to get a picture of that and there's plenty of the um, yellow marsh flowers around so yeah so i'm going to get this shot anyway Excellent, that's that one done, and here it is. So one of the great things about Yorkshire is that it has a vast network of caves and caverns and underwater, underground river systems. And here is a prime example of a small river stream that's coming down from Malam Tarn and it literally disappears into the ground at this spot. water is, is obviously flowing underground somewhere and to be quite honest I haven't a clue where that comes out because there is nothing behind me that represents a stream or a river so this literally does go underground and it'll come out somewhere further down the valley into another river system just amazing so I've come back to the cove here now this afternoon it's uh, just gone one o'clock and I'm pleased to say that I have seen the peregrine falcons nesting just on the opposite side of the cliff to where they were last year. Um, not sure whether I've got any decent shots, they are quite far away so I've put my one times extender on. Um, I now know where they are so I'm just going to sit here and wait and hopefully They'll come out. Um, just met another chap on the cliff tops and he saw them last week. 
perched in the tree um, and ironically that is right above the nest. Great spot to, uh, to photograph them um, and that's if they land in the tree. So I've got an option is do I go on the opposite side and wait and the off chance that it lands in the tree to get a nice clean shot of the, uh, the peregrine or do I stay here and catch them flying in the sky and perhaps bringing in some prey um, I think I'm going to stay here but no I was a bit optimistic a bit skeptical uh, as to whether or not they were here but they're here so that's really nice to see um, yeah, so I'm going to just get comfy and wait for them to make an appearance. So I don't know if you can see, but the peregrine is just hiding there in the bushes stood on that branch you can only just make him out through the trees you can just see his yellow feet there his white chest and the grey head I know it's not grey guys but you take what you can get eh Well guys, from me, that's it for today. Um, it's been a long all day, I've done about, I don't know, six, seven mile walk. Sat around for a few hours. Managed to see the peregrine falcons, falcon, just the one. Um, so that was really nice to see. That's what I came for. Managed to see it, nothing great, but they're here and yeah, that's really nice, just in a different spot. Um, Lots of little birds, enjoyed my walk around, didn't see many insects. The weather really changed, it was supposed to have been um, sunny all day long and unfortunately the clouds came in and it's starting to rain again now. So it's now three o'clock, it's going to take me an hour and a half to get home. And from me until my next trip, which I've no idea where it's going to be, it might be just somewhere local, catching up on the local wildlife. Um, but until next time guys, thanks for subscribing and you never know, next time you see me we could be over a thousand subscribers. So thank you to you all and until next time, take care.